Hello, and I'm Mitch with Hacker Name, and today I'm going to show you how to get up and running with the Brainstorm device using our Python API. I will be showing examples of how to do this for both Windows and Mac. However, Windows has a few more steps, so I'll begin there. If you are interested in a text-based version of this video, you can visit our webpage at acronym.com, navigate to Support, Brainstorm Reference, Python API Reference, and Getting Started. The first thing we want to do is install Python, but first let's make sure we didn't already acquire it at some point. Open up the command prompt and type in python dash dash version. Looks like Windows doesn't know what Python means, so that most likely means that we don't have it installed. So let's get Python. So to get Python, let's go to Google and type download Python for Windows. Click on the first link. Here we'll see that there are two versions of Python available. And it's very important that we select Python 2.7, as the Brainstorm library is currently not compatible with Python 3.5. I downloaded Python earlier, so I will navigate to my downloads folder. We'll double click on Python install and follow the on-screen instructions. One thing you may want to add is this add Python exe to path. This will allow you to type Python and begin the interpreter. Again, let's confirm that Python is installed by typing Python dash dash version. Good, we have successfully installed Python. Before we install the Brainstem library, there is one more thing that we need, and that is pip. Pip is a package installer. However, luckily for you, it usually comes standard in the Python Windows installer. But let's confirm by typing pip dash dash version. Sure enough, there it is. Now we can move on to installing the Brainstem package. If you haven't already, you will need to download the Brainstem development kit. It can be found at acronym.com, support, download center, and then selecting the one that meets your system requirements. I also downloaded this earlier and have it sitting on my desktop labeled BDK215. The Python install package can be found by navigating to the development folder and then Python. The package will have a .whl at the end of it. The last thing that we will need to do is install the brain sim package. But to do so, we will need to be in the command line. From here, I'm going to type pip install and then drag the package to the screen. Now that we have everything installed, we can connect to our brainstem device. Today, I'll be using a USB stem. However, any other brainstem device will be almost exactly the same. And I'll point out the difference when we get there. First, let's start the Python interpreter. Import the Brainstem API. Now, we have to create two very important items. The first being a spec object. Simply put, a spec object tells the Brainstem API how to connect to a device. In particular, it includes its transport type, i.e. USB or TCP IP, its module number, and its serial number. So let's create a spec object. Let's make sure it's valid by printing it. Looks good. Next, we need to create a module object. It's important to note that the module class is the parent class for all Brainstem devices. It defines all the capabilities that are available to a Brainstem device, which are not all the same. Here, we will need to define a USB stem module. If you were working with another device, such as EtherStem, you would just type EtherStem in the place of USB stem. Let's create a module object. Now that we have both of these, we are ready to make a connection to the device. Let's do that now. We 
looks good. And we get a zero, meaning that we returned with no errors. If you look at your device, you will notice that the green link light is now blinking, indicating that we are connected to the device. Let's do a simple test by toggling this user LED. First, let's get the status of the LED. Zero, meaning the LED is turned off. Let's go ahead and set the LED. You will notice that the blue user LED is now on. However, let's use the Python command to check. Perfect. Well, that concludes the Windows demonstration. Let's disconnect from the device and exit Python. Now, let's go through how to do the same thing on a Mac. If you are using a Mac as your development environment, you most likely already have Python installed. But let's confirm by typing Python dash dash version. Good. If you do not at least have Python 2.7.9, you will need to follow the steps outlined at the beginning of the video. Although you have Python installed, you may not have pip. This can be installed by going to Google and typing download pip. Click the first link, and about halfway down the page, you can right click on the gitpip.py and select download linked file. Once you have the file, you can simply pass it to the Python interpreter. Next, we will need to install the Python wheel. That, we will need the sudo command. From here on out, everything is exactly the same as it was in the Windows installation. I will go through these steps, however I will speed up the video in order to keep it short. And that concludes our video on how to get up and running with the BrandSim device using our Python API. For more information, please visit our website at acronym.com.